Hi guys, it's Christy Cassie here and I've decided to make a small tutorial on how to alt text your photos on social media so that people who use screen readers, uh, that's people who have low vision or who are blind, will know what's in the photos. So I have my iPhone here and I gave myself what seems to be an impossible project. I decided to do a countdown of all my favorite photos from the last decade. So I uploaded 121 photos plus six videos, I think six videos, to Facebook. And then I realized, wow, none of these are accessible to people who are blind. So now what do I have to do? I have to go caption all 121 photos and X number of videos and I also have to add alt text and I'm going to explain what the difference between captioning and alt texting is. So I have my phone here with one of the pictures that I've, I've chosen and it's a picture of my boyfriend Sean who's behind the camera. Hello! And I. Uh, this is a photo of us at an event called BC Access Awareness Day. Whoops. Um, BC Access Awareness Day at the Vancouver Art Gallery. Now, if you're sighted, you can see that. You see, what do you see? You see two people holding some sort of drawings. I'm going to caption this so that you, as a sighted person, you go, well, you're holding some sort of drawings. What the heck is this? A caption gives the general idea. It's like the title of a book or the title of a painting. So the first thing I'll do is add a caption and then the second thing I'll do is add alt text. Now what is alt text? Alt text is specifically for people who cannot see the photo and it does something very simple. It tells the viewer exactly what is in the photo. So not the story behind the photo or the whatever else was going on, the little thought bubbles, but exactly what's in the photo. So the first step is you have your photo on your screen and you want to add a tech, uh, caption and then the alt text. You, and I'm using voiceover, so this will be slightly different if you're sighted and your phone does not talk, uh, it'll be different. I believe it's a single tap instead of a double tap. But when I say double tap, that's because I'm using voiceover. So I'm going to double tap on this photo. And of course, it did not do what I wanted to. There you go. So I'm double tapping on this photo to get into the photo view. And then I'm going to swipe, as you see, until I hear more or if you're sighted until you see more and you double tap on that and it gives you a bunch of different options so you can make it your cover photo you can send it you can share send a messenger and then you have an edit caption so that's the first thing I'm going to do so I double tap on that and it says text field is editing if you're sighted you can see that and my keyboard is up. Now I use dictation because I don't want to touch every letter, so. In space. Oops. Selected. Shift. Caps it. Numbers. Emoji. Oops. Dictate. Ah. Double dictate. Text, start dictation. Double. Wow. Comma. An art class can be made accessible. Exclamation mark. Inserted now. An art class can be made accessible. So there's my caption and now I have to save it. Now, save. So I double tap on save photo, image. and now my photo has a caption. Now I'm going to add the alt text. Close. So again, I'm looking for more. More. Then I get to my option. Edit alt text. So alt text stands for alternative text and it's just what it says. It's an alternative to the visual photo. On this screen there's a bunch of stuff, what you're listening for or what you're looking for, 
is uh, overwrite generated alt text. Now, all this alt text right now is saying is two people smiling, and that's awesome, but it's not fair because people who are sighted are seeing way more than that. So we're going to add more. Add alternative text, override generated alt text. I get to override generated alt text. Override generate text field. I double insertion, tap insertion point and, and I do the dictation thing again. Sean and Christy sit at a table, comma, holding pewter portraits that they have drawn using a stylus so that the drawings are tactile, period. Sean's drawing looks more like the replica of the painting we're trying to imitate, comma. It has trees and a background of clouds, period. Mine looks more like squiggles, period. And I'm going to save that. Automatically generated. Save. Save. And now my photo is accessible. How do I check that? You actually have to, um, you either wait a while because the te it takes a while for it to refresh. Or you close Facebook and return to your photo. Um, unfortunately, the only way to uh, verify that the alt text is working, to my knowledge, is by turning on voiceover. I'm not sure if um, a bubble of text appears uh, to sighted people containing that alt text. That could be, I'm not sure. So. Um, this photo now is accessible to both sighted and people with vision loss. Hope you guys try this and get used to making this a habit because everyone's on Facebook, everyone's on social media, it doesn't matter about vision or no vision, and photos are a way of life now and they should all be made accessible and it's pretty easy. Thanks for listening and Hope this was helpful.